Hi, I'm Miriam, and this is Chris, and we're from Keto Chow. And today we wanted to talk to you about industrial seed oils. Also known as vegetable oil. Uh, the problem is there are no vegetables in the production of vegetable oils. It's just a, it's a good marketing name. Um, but vegetable oils as they are, or more properly termed seed oils, didn't exist until pretty recently. Um, they have to be extracted using a bunch of different solvents, usually high pressure. And it's not something our ancestors, even 20 years ago, or 50 years ago, or 100 years ago, would have had any experience with. Our metabolisms don't know what to do with them. Um, they're primarily polyunsaturated fats, meaning that they have, okay, so a saturated fat, this is chemistry, you don't worry about it too much, but you have um, chains of carbon, and there is a hydrogen on each carbon. And if it's completely saturated with, car with hydrogen, then it's a saturated fat. That's the definition of a saturated fat. If there's one spot where you've got a double bond between the, um, the carbons, then it's a monounsaturated. One, there's just one spot where it's unsaturated. If there's three or more spaces, then it's a, well, a three would be an omega-3 polyunsaturated fat. Six spots would be omega-6. Anyway, so you have multiple places where it's unsaturated. The more places you have where it's not completely full of hydrogen, the more easily oxygen is going to get in there and you're going to have the, the oil go rancid. So with polyunsaturated oils, that happens pretty quickly. So you have to use a bunch of deodorizers and other chemicals to make sure that that doesn't happen very quickly. Um, so things like... Uh, soybean oil, that goes rancid rather quickly. Um, whereas something like um, a, a olive oil or avocado oil, which is mostly monounsaturated, it, it doesn't go bad very quickly at all. And then on the other hand, you have saturated fats like beef tallow or um, what's it called? Pork, pork. <sighs> Bacon grease. Bacon grease, no, the word for it. Oh, man, I'm drawing a blank. The stuff you get from... Uh, tallow. No, it's not tallow. No. Lard. No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's, wow, that was fun. Um, lard or tallow can be stored at room temperature for, for a, long, a long time. Yeah. yeah. Your great-grandmother used to keep a crock of beef tallow or bacon fat under the sink pretty much guaranteed mm -hmm. because you could just store it there and anytime you needed that to cook with, it was there and it never went bad. At least you would use it up before it went bad. And so saturated fats are more stable, they don't oxidize as much and they don't cause as many problems in our bodies. Now, saturated fats have been demonized over the last couple of years because they tend to raise LDL cholesterol they also raise HDL cholesterol. Whereas polyunsaturated fats tend to lower LDL cholesterol and they also lower HDL cholesterol. Saturated fats you often get from animals, whereas polyunsaturated fats come from healthy vegetables. That's all if you take the lipid hypothesis at face value, the thing that says that LDL cholesterol is bad. Um, when it gets really down to it, a lot of that may have a lot to do with people not wanting you to eat animal products and selling it off as a saturated fat is bad because it raises cholesterol. Well, in reality, they think saturated fat is bad because it comes from animals. So our stance on, on processed oil. seed oils is that they're really not for humans. Um, they may have industrial applications, but for human consumption, they're not good. Um, I actually tested this out by consuming a bunch of different oils and seeing what it did to my lipid system, to my fat system, my cholesterol, and the, the polyunsaturated fats, they just, they were not good at all. So 
Stick with mostly monounsaturated or saturated fats. Um, for keto chow, that means your best thing is butter. butter. Second best, heavy cream if you can handle it. Then comes things like avocado oil, maybe olive oil if you can stand the flavor. And then you can do coconut oil and things like that or too. Or any of those saturated fats, lard, mm -hmm. bacon fat, tallow. Yeah, if you're doing the savory flavors. Fat. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us. Um, if you have any questions, generally if you click right here on the YouTube link, you can post comments. Um, let us know you have, if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos. Have a good day. Thank you.